Hi, this is LaVon, and we're in the kitchen again cooking chili. My spicy but not so spicy chili. And it's so quick and easy. Basically, we only have a few ingredients. We have our ground beef, which I'm about to start to uh, cook. And I'm gonna brown it. Then we have chili beans. These are called hot chili beans, but they're really not hot. They come with a sauce in them. I'm going to use some salsa, some cumin, some chili powder, black pepper, garlic, and of course, I'll put some salt in there too. The reason I use the salsa is because it has tomatoes, it has onions, and peppers. Those are things most people put in their chili. But instead of me having to cut up the tomatoes, cut up the onions, cut up the peppers, saute them and all of that, it's already done. Plus it already has seasoning. It's easier and it tastes so much better. So I'm gonna start off. I have my ground beef in here. I'm gonna just go ahead and let that start browning. And then, I'm gonna put my chili beans in the pot. I have two 30 ounce cans of chili beans. If I can get them out. Uh -oh. There we go. All right, and I'll be right back because I'm gonna put some water in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, because I use two cans of chili beans, I'm gonna use two cans of water. So I'll be right back. And, there's my hamburger. I'm going to add my seasonings to the chili beans and the exact same seasonings I'm going to add to the meat. So I'm going to put a little bit of cumin. A little bit of chili powder. Actually, I'm going to put a lot of chili powder. I'm going to put some black pepper. and garlic powder. Human? Because you want to layer your flavors. Chili powder. Black pepper. Garlic powder. So. I'm going to add my salsa next. I'm gonna put a couple cups of salsa in here. See how it has the diced tomatoes? So you have chunks of tomatoes, you have onions, and you have peppers. I'm gonna put two cups of salsa in here. And I like the chunky one and the medium spice. It's a little spicy, but it's not too spicy. So, I'm gonna add my salt. I'm gonna put my salt in there. All I have to do now is when my ground beef is brown, just add my ground beef. I'm gonna cook this, let it simmer for 20 minutes, and then we will have chili. Okay, so my ground beef is ready, it's seasoned, and it has a lot of juice in it, so I'm gonna drain the juice and then just put it inside my chili beans. Put it in the strainer. Let that drain. Juice out of there as possible. Okay. 
And then I'm just gonna pour this in the pot. And then we're just gonna let that simmer for 20 minutes and we'll be back to taste it. So my chili has simmered and now the important thing, we're gonna ladle it up. And I have a friend of mine in the kitchen today with me. His name's Jonathan. He's gonna taste it for me. Jonathan, come on over here next to me. I'm gonna get you a nice bowl of this. It's nice and thick and chunky. I'm gonna put a little sour cream on there. You like sour cream? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream on there. And put a little onions on there. And we're gonna let you tell people Wow, fine, spicy, but not so spicy chili. Oops, it's hot. Be careful, folks. It's okay. This is really good. Well, yay! <laughs> well, you heard it from Jonathan himself. He said it's actually pretty good. Make you want to slap your mama. <laughs> So thank you for joining us in LeVon's Kitchen. I will see you next time in the kitchen. Bye.